This video is sponsored by OnePlus. We need to talk. Higher refresh rate screens are amazing. 120 hertz screen compared to the more traditional 60 hertz screen can make gaming feel a lot smoother, but also everyday things like scrolling through the web or through Instagram. Even just navigating through the menus on your phone will feel a lot faster. But this can often have the adverse effect of draining your battery more. But a newer screen technology called LTPO actually combines the best of both worlds and allows you to get those higher refresh rates while using less battery. So in this decoder episode, the explainer series here on my channel, let's talk about what LTPO is, how it works exactly, and why we're going to be seeing a lot more of it soon. So firstly, a high refresh rate screen, let's say one that's 120 hertz, for example, can refresh the image on the display up to 120 times per second, compared to the 60 times per second of more traditional displays. And you'll hear hertz and FPS and frames per second sometimes used interchangeably here. Now this means that when things are moving, the movement is smoother, because movement can only happen on a display when the pixels can move their positions. So the faster you can change those pixels, the less perceptible the change appears, because there's just less time in between the changing of the pixels. 16.67 milliseconds for 60 hertz is then cut in half to 8.33 for a 120 hertz display. So you can think of it like a flipbook animation, or this video you're watching even. Moving from one frame to the next slowly, versus doing it faster and faster, changes how your eyes perceive the movement. It sounds great, right? High refresh all the things. But as mentioned earlier, it's not without some downside. Every time a screen is lit up, it's consuming power, and higher resolution screens with more pixels to light up consuming even more power. In addition to that, every time you have to change the image on the screen, that also requires some power. So the higher the refresh rate, the more power is being used as it needs to now update a lot more often. In the case of 120 versus 60 hertz, twice as often because of math. So this is where that new screen technology called LTPO comes in, and it stands for Low Temperature Polycrystalline Oxide. And it's becoming more popular on devices over the more traditional LTPS, or Low Temperature Polycrystalline Silicon displays. And it allows devices like the OnePlus 9 Pro to dynamically change the refresh rate of the screen based on what you're doing. So if you're gaming or scrolling even, it'll hit that 120 hertz to make everything seem just smoother and faster. But what if you're looking at a photo? or the always-on display. Well, leaving the display refreshing itself 120 times a second for something like that isn't helping your experience because there's no movement, so you can't even notice it. And also, it's unnecessarily draining power. So the LTPO screen, like on the OnePlus 9 Pro, can dynamically lower the frame rate as low as one hertz, or once a second, when looking at that image, or in the case of the OnePlus 9 Pro's always-on display. They even have a second hand move on that display, a feature that they were able to now implement because of the new LTPO display they're using without consuming much power by refreshing the screen only once a second. But then they can change it to 24 hertz when you're watching a 24 frames per second video like this one, or 30 hertz for a 30 frame per second video, and all the way back up to 120 when you scroll or play a game, um, and all seamlessly and on the fly. And the brilliant thing is you don't even notice. Movement is smoother and less power is being used. OnePlus even claims that there's a 50% power reduction on the new OnePlus 9 Pro's display thanks to that LTPO technology. The way this works, for those that are curious, is it's technically a hybrid of different transistors to try to get the best of both worlds. So for an OLED display, we have two types of transistors. One to control the turning of the pixels on and off, called the switching TFTs, or thin film transistors. And the other to maintain brightness, 
called the driving TFTs. With an LTPO screen, LTPS transistors, which can fire rapidly based on inherent properties of the material being used, sort of necessary for those refresh rates, are used for the switching TFTs like normal. But the driving TFTs use IGZO transistors, indium gallium zinc oxide, which because of their inherent properties and the fact that they are transparent, require less power from the backlight to power them and are more power efficient. This combination plus optimized software allows the changing of the refresh rates while keeping brightness high and power consumption low. So there you go. If you wanna learn more about LTPO displays and the OnePlus 9 Pro in particular, check out the link below for that. And thanks again to OnePlus for partnering with me to make this video. And there you go. Let me know what you guys think of this video in the comments below. Always appreciate hearing from you guys. And if you like this video, please thumbs up it or share it. It's greatly appreciated. Also check out the rest of the channel. If you like what you see there, please subscribe and ding the bell next to the word subscribe so you get notified when I do new videos. As always though, regardless, thanks for watching.